Hello, my friends. We are checking out Katana Zero, which is uh, a really awesome game. <laughs> uh, I am not allowed to show you anything past this level, so I'm showing you this level. Uh, there's plenty of pixel art games on the Switch. I love pixel art. I can appreciate pixel art and not appreciate a game because, you know, the art may be great. And I like the style, but the gameplay may suck, so... Just because it looks good doesn't mean it plays good. Katana Zero is not one of those games. This is, uh... Man. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> this is, uh, such an interesting game. Uh, I don't know how to describe it as far... Like, the vibe is cool... Weird? Uh, gritty? Um, it gives me, it's not like Fight Club, as in the story, it's not like that at all, but it gives me the same vibe as Fight Club, if that makes any sense. Um, it might not, and that's okay. But, um, yeah, just something about it, the whole vibe, it's so, like, this club level is fantastic. You have to start out by sneaking in. Uh, I'm purposefully not showing you story elements, because story is such a big part of this game. It is the mystique. It adds to the vibe. It adds to the whole experience, uh, as a good story should. Uh, to tell you the truth, there's some parts of the story right now that I don't even know what the hell's going on. And it's totally done like that on purpose. And in uh, some regards, you kind of craft what's going on with the story. And now I'm trying to remember how to play. Okay. Uh, so, I'm sure I will die. Playing is... Fast and frenetic, and if you die, it doesn't matter, because you just rewind right back to the start of the stage. Not a big deal. Um, I was playing this the other night, and was really getting into the vibe. Okay, we're good. We're good. I don't remember how I got this open. How did I get this open last time? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Good enough. <laughs> so you just restart levels and then it shows you to play through where you actually succeeded. You hit the button, you go to the next. Yes, there's a slow there's a slow down time. There's a quick dodge and it's all about stringing together moves to uh, make it through a level. And you're going to die a lot. And again, totally fine. Uh, but like finding the set of Moves that works for you. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I sh oh thank God. Uh, so I deflected that guy's bullet back at him. Uh, that guy still shot me. You can hit the button again to s skip your rewind so you don't have to sit and watch it every time. Because you're going to be seeing it a lot. Let's try it a different way this time. Okay. We're good. Ah, oh, man, I, I, like, I'm following embargo rules by showing you the furthest level I could show you, which is not far in the game at all by any means. I'm trying to avoid story, but just trust me when I say the whole vibe of the game is just so great. It really sucks you in. Okay. I, uh, have already done this level, <laughs> obviously, but, you know, later levels get much longer. And you're chaining things together and learning new maneuvers and stuff like that. So you go back to these levels and you're like, Oh, it's a little hard to remember how I approach this. Each room's kind of like... Hmm. Each room's kind of like a puzzle. Because you figure out... There's not one way to do the puzzle. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, boy! Okay. There's not one way to do a puzzle. There's lots of ways to do it. You just do what works for you. Okay. We're good. You can dodge quickly through stuff like this as long as you time it right. That guy's good. We're taken care of. Everything's great. Uh, hopefully you're getting some of the vibe of this game. Obviously the level design uh, and the whole aesthetic here gives you some of that vibe. But yeah. Uh, it's just... If, if, I don't know how to describe it really. It feels like one of those like special indie games. 
there's plenty of indie games I love, and I have a ton of fun playing them, but this is like something, an experience that'll stick with you uh, through story and the gameplay. The story is so trippy, and I mean it in a <laughs> wonderful way. All right, let's see if I can do this the smart way. <laughs> All right, that thing's gonna shoot me. Ooh, <laughs> I could have went a different way, but I went the dumb hard way, and I liked. It. I could have like smashed my way up through the floor. Excuse me, at that one section, uh, instead of going and tackling the gun head on. So I'm gonna like skip this stuff right away. I don't want you to see story. There's gonna be some story bits here that I will skip through dialogue choices as quickly as I can. Um, but, uh, uh, things play out very differently depending on how you act, um, when you get phone calls. You have the option to just quickly skip dialogue and get into the gameplay, uh, or if you let the dialogue go, you, or if you let the uh, phone calls go, <laughs> I like that he started dancing, um, you can answer differently and steer the story, and you definitely control the story in between levels as far as how it goes and what your character does. I'm sorry, I just had to watch him dance for a little bit oh when you s s string together a series of moves it feels so great come on dude they can't hear me because they're on the dance floor I saw that other guy coming oh damn it it was the last move I should have I should have uh should have dodged it, but I didn't. See? See, things... People don't always run the same way. Oh. Let's do this the smart way. Let's not. Oh, <laughs> I tried to deflect the bullet that I knew was coming. How often do you play a game where, like, your first attempt through... Oh, no! He shot the bottle. Your first attempt through is the best attempt. Uh, obviously, like I said, you can use slow-mo, which I don't really use. That was stupid, but maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll use it this time. To deflect some bullets. Well, that didn't work. Let's try that again. I like the frenetic pace of the retries. Okay, okay, feeling good. Going for this guy. Oh! Damn it! I didn't know he could shoot from up there. I thought he had to turn the corner. Yeah. This is, uh, not going well. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Okay. Oh, that guy had a rough day. Rough day at the office. God darn it! I try and hit that guy with the bottle and I shouldn't. Best part is I didn't have nearly this much trouble. The first time. Come on, buddy. All right, there we go. Yes, that should work after a few minutes. Uh, so I think I'm going to end it there because that I, we, we go into story now. This level isn't too long. It's much longer when you read the story. And I mean it as a good thing. But I don't want to spoil that for you. So that's Katana Zero. It's coming out on Switch soon. This game is awesome. <laughs> I can't wait to talk more about it. Uh, I will catch you in the next video.